Hey guys, and welcome to Jason Case. What I've got here today is a Casio G-Shock GA100, and I'm gonna replace the bezel on this. That's this top part right here. You can see I've got a replacement bezel in the background. Here it is, this is one from Jason Case, and this actually comes with some matching strap adapters. So we'll be using those, and we'll take off this stock strap, we'll put the adapters in, so we put something like a nylon strap or something onto the watch when we're done. But um, what do we need to do this? Well, I've got a small Phillips head screwdriver. That's really what we're gonna need. I've also got a spring bar tool, right here and a set of tweezers. So we may not use these, we'll see how that goes. But what we need the Phillips head screwdriver for is there's six screws that hold this bezel on. You can see right here, there's actually four larger screws in each of the corners and then two smaller screws on either side. So that's what we're gonna be taking out. Now before we pull that off, it's my personal preference that we take the strap off first. It just gets the strap out of the way, otherwise it's kind of flopping around and becoming a nuisance. So let me pull those off real quick. There's one end, and we need to keep these spring bars handy because we're going to need them again for the adapters. So let's go to the second half of that strap. There we go. All right, there's that guy. So here's our GA100 without the strap, and now let's get started on that bezel. Okay, so here's our watch without the straps. Now let's work on the bezel. Let's get all these screws out. It doesn't matter which one we start on first. We're just going to need to take all six of them out. I'll start right here. Uh, at one of the corner screws. These are one of the larger screws I mentioned. So let's take that out and I'll set it down right here. And then let's move on to the smaller screw. This is one of the two smaller screws on either side. I'll pull those out right here and I'll set them down side by side for kind of comparison. You can see them there. All right, and then let's move on. Let's keep going all around. We'll get them all, all removed. Okay, so we've got all the screws out. Here they all are, all six of them. So all we need to do to take this bezel off is just peel it off, essentially. We're gonna grab under one of the corners here and get it over one of those buttons and then do the same to the, to the button right next to it, like so. And there you go. We've got that off and you just pull it off and take it away. So here we are with uh, basically your naked GA100, no bezel, no strap. And uh, now would be a great time if you found there was a lot of soiling up under here, a lot of dirt and grime in these nooks and crannies. What we could do is uh, go grab a toothbrush and maybe a mild soap and, and give this a good cleaning. Anyway, so let's get the new bezel on. So in order to prep this, let's first look at the orientation. Here's your, your watch and your, and your bezel. You can see the adjust mode, reverse and forward. So we just wanna make sure we have that oriented correctly. Well, let's get the, the buttons in the right orientation there so they line up with the, the pockets here. But well, it's easy as just putting this on, no problems. Just get it snapped in, seated properly on one end, and then go ahead and make sure your buttons are in the correct orientation on the offset end and just push it on over. And once you have it lined up, it'll snap into place. So there's your new bezel. It's on that GA100, looking pretty good. Okay, so here's your GA100 with a new bezel on. So now what we need to do is we need to screw it down and let's grab a screw and get going on that. It doesn't matter which screw we start with. Uh, you know, I'm just arbitrarily grabbing one of these big screws and we'll go ahead and screw it in and then work our way around. So let's put that one in and then we'll grab one of the smaller screws for the side and so forth. So let's get going on that. Here we go. And move right along. Okay, so we've got all the screws in here for the bezel, so now we need to uh, move forward with the adapters. So here's our spring bars that we talked about setting aside for use later. Uh, we've got a number of videos where I talk at length about inserting these adapters, so feel free to go back and look at those if you need any more details, but I'm going to just go through this pretty quickly. So we'll drop it in, tuck it under, and then when you snap this into place, I always give this a good tug, rock it back and forth, make sure that spring bar is engaged on both sides. Okay, that one's doing great. Let's do the other one. There you go. Okay, that's in. And we'll check that, tug it around. All right, and before we really consider this wrapped up, what I like to do is check all the buttons, make sure that they're all working, none of them have stuck with the new bezel. And it looks like all the functionality is good to go. So we'll consider that all right. Okay, so our adapters are in, and now we just need to install the strap. So I've got a, a Zulu style 24 millimeter strap here. It's 1.5 millimeter thick. And as we know, what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed it through on the 12 o'clock side first. 
pass it through 12, then on to 6, and then just pull it all the way through. So here we go. And there we have it. So we would just adjust the strap position to uh, put the buckle in the right spot based on the thickness of our wrist. I have one more thing that I was hoping to do here. We got this set of bull bars here. I've got a set of bull bars in, in a gunmetal gray. So we want to drop those on. And these are pretty easy to do as well. We just want to go ahead and seat them on one side. Go ahead and push them tightly up against that one side of the bezel. And then fold them on over. Just push them on over. Now, with this particular bezel, they can get caught on this little lip here. But anyway, just try to push down on top while you roll it over with your thumb over here. And you can get it on over there. Now, if it really does become a pain in the neck, I guess here's a use we could use for the uh, the tweezers. What I use sometimes, maybe tweezers or a knife with a fine point, and you can take it and kind of pry it on over, and then pull it on out and finish it with your thumb, so you can get it started like that. All right, well there we go. We've got your GA100 upgraded with a uh, Jason K's matching bezel and adapter set in a gray digital camo. We've put a Zulu style ballistic nylon strap on it and we've kicked it up a notch with a set of Jason K's bull bars in, in a gunmetal gray. All right guys, any questions just give me a message. Have a great day. Bye.